We all know to obey the rules, but do you like to bend a few every once in a while? Hey, what would it hurt, right? Today on Tomorrow Life, we're going to show you how one mother's decision to break a rule ended up affecting her child for life. Plus, do you know which seat is the right one for your child? We're going to review which one is correct. Google is the most searched site when it comes to the internet. Their glass, however, not so popular. Expense aside, how many of you really know what it does? What if I told you it could not only improve a life, but save one too? Today we show you how it works, why it's going away, and how the company plans to have it make a comeback. We'll talk about a comeback. Take a look at this. Coming up, we're going to show you how this vacuum salesman made this boy's birthday his best ever. <laughs> Well, this ride along was one of my best ones ever. <laughs> WBOC's Charles Paparella journeys all over Delmarva, bringing you the sight and sounds of this beautiful peninsula. Today, we travel with him to show you how this Delmarva treasure got here. Well, here in Berlin is where this brewing treasure is located. Coming up, our Sean Stryker introduces us to the man behind Burley Oak and tells us how losing his job may have been the best thing that happened to him and his employees. Well, how many of you are ready for some football? This Sunday is the Super Bowl, and what would game day Sunday be without a big, delicious bowl of chili? You're in luck. We're in the Delmarva Life Kitchen learning how to make this pigskin staple. And this show has become a staple for a lot of people throughout the country. We preview the critically acclaimed CBS reality show, The Amazing Race. See who the contestant will be this time around? Delmarva Live starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. So, yeah. bottom line, <laughs> if the forecast is going to be wrong, isn't it better that it be wrong this way than the other way? Ah. Now, I got to say, it did bring out the best on a lot of people on social media this morning. Take a look at these. Wanda Nori Lynch posted on Facebook, dang, we've been robbed. Somebody stole our <laughs> snow day. Darlene Smith said on Facebook, don't need a ruler to measure my three snowflakes. Hmm. Steve Bailey said on Facebook, welcome to Delmarva, folks, where blizzards come to die. And Dan Gaffney, this is my favorite, he tweeted the Dell Dot Brine application repelled the entire storm system from Delaware. I don't know, Jimmy, you say it brings out the, the best on Facebook. It also brought <laughs> out the worst, I have to say. But you know what, you know, it, 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 predicting the future, predicting weather, it's not an exact science. It's so. not. It's not like I can tell you the sun's going to come up tomorrow. Yeah. There's all kinds of things involved. So I can tell you one thing that's going to happen on Sunday, the Lewis Polar Bear Plunge, and it will feel polar. Remember this from a couple years ago? Yeah, Brian! <laughs> <laughs> Jumping in that chilly water. Each year, thousands of dollars are raised for Special Olympics Delaware. Now, the plunge has grown each year beginning in 1992 when 78 plungers raised $7,000. Yeah, he couldn't talk after that. No. The polar bear plunge is Sunday afternoon at 1 in Rehoboth Beach. If you'd like to know more about it, including all the plunge activities of the weekend, just go to WBOC.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. And you know what's happening Friday? Yeah. Sean Stryker's doing it. Oh! Sean's doing the polar bear plunge, so we can't wait to see that coming Looking up on Friday. Looking forward to that. Hope you enjoyed the Salisbury Festival. You mean the springtime Salisbury Festival? Because there's not going to be another one. Oh. Uh, there's no word on exactly why it's not returning this year, but after 32 years, the Chamber of Commerce says it's time to find something new to do. The festival of family friendly happening toward the end of April with various live musical acts and carnival rides. Mm, well, that's usually something that happens in the spring. Let's talk about mm -hmm. something that happens in the summer, specifically the boys of summer. South Carolina Little League registration is coming up. Here are the 11, 12 year old district six champs from 2013. Registration is tonight from 6 to 8 and Saturday from 10 to noon at the Federalsburg Fire Hall. T-ball registration is $45, $65 for everyone else, and a family cap of $165. Okay, yeah, it is cold outside, but let's go ahead and keep talking spring and summer. Can we okay. do that? All right, <laughs> let's talk some sailing. The mm. Nathan of Dorchester and its crew are looking for volunteers to join the 2015 sailing season. Sails from Long Wharf in Cambridge on Saturdays and one Sunday a month from uh, May through October. 
taking the public on short cruises on the Chop Tank River, a new volunteer orientation and information presentation for the Skipjack Nathan of Dorchester. It's going to be February 12th at the Dorchester Historical Society. That's at 1000 Greenway Drive in Cambridge. And you know what I love in the summer? Yard sales. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you don't have to wait until spring or summer. There's one Saturday. Wicomico Recreation's Happy Timers will hold an indoor yard sale from 7.30 to 1. Happy Timers members are residents of Wicomico County and surrounding areas who enjoy various activities and go on trips with locals together local trips together. Mm -hmm. uh, for more information, contact Karen McInturf at 410-548-4900, extension 118. Now, we've got a lot going on today, and we're going to move on. But first, I want to say congratulations this afternoon to several Delaware State Troopers. 18 have been promoted to a higher rank at the Martin Luther King Jr. Student Center at Delaware State University. Police Superintendent Colonel Nathaniel McQueen, Jr., Governor Jack Markell, Attorney General Matt Den, and Secretary of Safety and Homeland Security Louis D. Shaliro were there for that. Hmm. So, one of the most important things, one of the most important responsibilities as an adult is educating the youth. And part yeah. of that is making sure that little ones realize that sometimes there are things bigger <laughs> than they are. Sometimes those bigger things will knock you down. But regardless of that, <laughs> regardless of how big they are, it's important to get up and try again. And again. Oh, you go, little <laughs> kitty. Well, still ahead on Del Marva Life, we're just going up the road. My child will be fine in the front seat. It's a message one mother wishes she hadn't convinced herself of. Now her six year old is left paralyzed. We'll hear her story next. Plus, we get a lesson in car seat safety no matter how big your child and no matter where on Del Marva you live. For the many parents who have a child with autism, there's always interest in helping with their behaviors. A little bit later on, you're going to find out how something as simple as broccoli can make quite a difference. And that's not the only food we're tackling today, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to head to the <laughs> kitchen to whip up a poblano black bean chili. Perfect for the big game this weekend. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union. Guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center. Honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 